Yeah, can't wait for the weekend. A huge day ahead tomorrow live on TalkSport. Now, interesting. Let's start with this one, Dino. Saints against Man United. Uh, Ronaldo's chucked his oar in, isn't he? Saying, Ten Hag, nah, no good. Got to go. Move on. Well, in my opinion, you know, he shouldn't lower himself to... Why are you having a dig at the manager? You've gone. You know, you're too big a player to... Don't slag anyone you've played nah, for off. You know what it's like? Someone's asked him, say, Cristiano, you know, da da da, United struggling there, and he's just got involved when he shouldn't, you're right. Yeah. And I, I didn't think there was a lot wrong with what Ten Hag said that, uh, you know, he's. I've, I've been a manager, Al, and I've. I've come out a press on a, in a press conference when we've lost a game <coughs> and battered the opposition but lost. Mm. And then everything I've said is wrong. When I've done the interview, people yeah. are going, why is, he, why is he saying that? We played well, we didn't play well, we were shocking. Mm. And then I've gone the other way around. We've played terrible, 1-3-0, and everything I've said is, oh, genius. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, oh, that, oh, I yeah. Was, so unless you business, win, yeah. 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 everything you say is wrong. So at the minute, everything Ten Hag is... He's saying people think they're wrong because they've had a bad start. Uh, I don't think it was a lot wrong with saying. And bearing in mind, he's Dutch, so it doesn't come out like right sometimes mm. in uh, lost in I translation. Think, I think, I think that's a bit of my problem with them. Listen, I, I'll, I'll I'll go on record again. I'm not a lover. I don't think it's right. I think it's too big a job. But he might be a lovely guy, so I don't want to slag him. I don't want to hammer him. But let's see what Cristiano said. He criticises Ten Hag for not believing United cannot compete for the biggest trophies. He's speaking this. I think he's speaking to Rio Ferdinand. They need to rebuild everything, in my opinion. The coach, they say they cannot compete to win the, the league and Champions League. You cannot say, if you are a Manchester United coach, you cannot say that you're not going to fight to win the, the, the league or Champions League. Mm. You have to, to be mentally say, listen, maybe we're not, we don't have that potential, but I cannot say that. We're going to try. You are going to try. Go you it. have to try. This club needs, needs time to rebuild. It's still one of the best clubs in the world, but they need to change. They, they understand that. I'm not happy the way they all happen, but in the same way, I repeat, I still love Manchester United and I wish them the best. It's a difficult mm. one because Ronaldo, obviously, you know, he's adored there. He's one of the best players we've ever, ever seen, Dino. So he's entitled to talk about his old club, isn't he? So what a ten hag. Should he have reacted? This is what he had to say. He said that, that Manchester United can't win the Premier League. Yeah, he said that you No, said he, that. he said this. <laughs> if you read the article very well. So, so he's far away from Saudi, uh, or far away from Manchester. Uh, so uh, everyone can have, and he's entitled to have an opinion. It's okay. So he's, he's, he, he backs himself to the hill, doesn't he, Ten Hag? What mm. if um, Southampton have had a bad start? What if they get something or what if they beat United? Um, well, the argument against Ten Hag is, right, he spent £567 million in three years and they don't seem to be any better. So if they sacked him tomorrow, he could say to the owner, well, fair enough, you've given me three years, you've given mm. me £567 million to improve my team. By the way, every time you spend £50 million, you should be improving the team, it should be getting better. So... That's the argument they're going to throw at him. So if he don't win in the next few games, they'll sack him. They tried to get rid of him in the summer, so he's he's on he's on week to week contract right yeah. now. Um, so he hasn't got an argument. If you if you don't spend a penny, and your manager for six seven months eight months, and you get sacked, you feel a bit aggrieved. But if he got sacked tomorrow, he'd probably say, "Well, I didn't realise what the problems were inside the club when I took the job. Mm. There's better managers than me that that are, couldn't get it right." But it's took them too long to get rid of the players who were just picking their wages up and not giving everything. There's still players sat in the dressing room. So when he's trying to when he's trying to get his formula together, yeah, he's looking at the eyes, looking back at him in the dressing room, and some of them really don't like him. They don't like him because it, they know he's tried to get rid of them. Mm. Harry Maguire, for example, he's probably tried to sell him six times. Yeah, he's still playing. <laughs> That's his problem. He can what never about, get that formula right. What, what about Marcus? I would still look. I mean, a lot of people will shoot me down in flames here. I would still try and get Marcus through the middle. Me, get him to come off, hold it up, uh, lay it off, spin. Use that pace in behind two centre backs in the channel between the full back and the centre back. Get the ball in there. Let me use my pace. I would. I would really have a go and say, "Come on, Marcus. I need you through the middle." 
Yeah, you play where you're told. Playing for Man United, if the manager asks you to play centre half, play centre half. Mm. But if I was to sat, sit in front of Marcus Rashford now, as his coach, I'd say to him, uh, what, sh- "What do you think your job is in in the team?" And I'd let him speak. Yeah. And I said, and then I'll tell you what I think your job is playing for me. You score 15 goals a season. You make 15 goals a season. And when we haven't got the ball, I expect you to be one of the wolves in the pack of wolves we've got getting the ball back. And then I'd go, so how many goals have you scored? How many crosses have you put in? Mm. And are you working hard enough? And his answer to all three must surely be no. Mm. None. He hasn't had a shot. He's not made but a goal. You, but you know what it's like, Dino, as well, playing up there uh, as a as a forward player. Unless you get the best service, let's get. And I know I know you work hard to get the, when things are not going well for you to get the crowd on your on your side. You work your socks off. Yeah. You close down. You chase. You chase balls that you're not going to get. And they they oh, he's trying. He's trying. He's trying. You know, you got to do that sometimes. You yeah. got to be unselfish and do that till your form turns around. Yeah. But he'll say he's not getting the right service. But look, let me ask this: Is Ronaldo right for calling out Ten Hag? Look, the place Southampton, no points. Southampton United, but just three. Uh, or is it time to give the Dutchman a break? Who else is to come in? Is it Gareth? Who else is going to come in? United, if they get rid of Ten Hag. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. This game against Saints is this a must win? Not even a draw. Is this a must win? In for Manchester United. Coming up, look ahead to the North London Derby, discuss just how big a loss, not just Odegaard and Rice, they've got big problems, Arsenal. That's coming next. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil, Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.